week marks the start of practice for high school football here in North Carolina, but one of our local teams has been dealing with an unexpected problem in their preseason prep. According to the Caldwell County Sheriff's Office, someone stole nearly $12,000 worth of equipment from the West Caldwell High School Fieldhouse, leaving the football team without valuable gear that's needed to take onto the field. And now as the team is trying to replace what was stolen, the community is stepping up in a big way. Our Cam Gaskins is in Lenore with more. Well, the head football coach here at West Caldwell High School tells me that in 25 years of coaching, he has never seen or heard of any other program go through what the Warriors have experienced this week. But he also tells me that he's never seen a community outpouring like what his players have seen this week. When Tony Pyland walked into the West Caldwell Fieldhouse early Monday morning, he knew quickly something was wrong. And you can see there aren't any helmets on the not many helmets on the uh, lockers. 23 helmets missing, to be exact, with a handful remaining on these hooks. Like, what do you do, man? Felt like somebody somebody ran over my dog or something. And those helmets were Riddle Speed Flexes, which retail anywhere from four to almost $500 each. They must have known what they wanted. The motive? Pylon says your guess is as good as his. I don't know. I still don't know that answer. I wish I did. In total, the damage from this robbery was nearly $12,000, including some jerseys and a bag of practice balls as well. That is nearly one-fifth of the entire budget for the athletic department in a small-town community. I mean, they have alternate helmets, you know, some places. They have three or four sets of jerseys some places. But we don't. Like, how in the world are we going to recover from this? And our community said, we got you. And the community didn't just show support in spirit. A GoFundMe campaign has already raised over $6,000 since Wednesday. And Pylon says that Dick Sporting Goods has also stepped up with a $15,000 grant for the athletics department. It's just amazing how something so good because of the community support. You just, the, our kids see firsthand how much the community values them. When looking at things needed to play the game of football, helmets are probably at the top of the list. But community support is a close second. The Warriors will have both when they take to the field on August 23rd. We're going to go take care of business um, because we're doing it, you know, not just for themselves, but for each other. Coach Pyland also tells me that replacement helmets are on the way. They should be delivered by Monday, just in time for the team's first practices of the fall on Wednesday. Reporting in Lenore, I'm Cam Gaskins, WBTV, on your side.